welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be very different from any other video that I've ever done because most of them are about fashion and makeup. But today I want to switch it up a tiny bit, do a little snitcheroo, switcheroo. And I want to talk about five things that you guys should know about Denmark and Danes. If you don't know already, I am from Denmark. I was raised and born in Denmark and therefore I feel like I've got a very good idea about how Danes act. And since I've been living both in the countryside of Denmark and then now also Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, I once again feel like I've got a really good idea about the entire feel of Denmark and how we act and who we are and what we feel like. Just everything. Before getting into the five things about Denmark, I just quickly want to say that this is obviously my observations about Danes and Denmark in general. Some people in Denmark may disagree with me and may feel very very different but this is definitely what I've seen and how I feel and, and what I think. So if you're planning a trip to Denmark anytime soon or you just want to know a bit more about the Danes in general, keep watching. Thing number one! You should know about Denmark. Do not talk to strangers. Whether you meet them in the park, in the supermarket, on the streets, wherever, doesn't freaking matter. Don't talk. Danes in general are really nice when you get to know them, but generally we are a bit paranoid about people we don't really know. If you look a bit sketchy or we just don't know what you want, then we are a bit more like don't talk to me, okay? For example, in the US where I've been a lot, I always find myself talking to strangers and talking to people in the supermarkets when I'm in a queue. But in Denmark, it's just not that socially acceptable to just talk to strangers. So if you start a conversation with a stranger in a queue in a supermarket, wherever, the Dane is probably gonna be thinking that either you're or you're gonna steal from them. So your attempt to try to be open and friendly usually don't come across that way to Danes. Obviously you can ask us, hey, sorry, do you know where this is or where that is? But just talking to a stranger on the street is very uncommon. Usually in a queue, you just see Danes being on their phone. Minding their own business. Generally, as I said, we're actually a very open-minded, very friendly country. We love tourists. We're very proud whenever you come here. But once again, it's just not very common for us to talk to strangers. It's just not a natural thing for Danes. Thing number two, you should know about Denmark. You can be proud but don't be loud about it. In Denmark we have this amazing thing called Yandelon which is basically you putting the social society above your own successes and boasting about your own successes is not acceptable. For example, if you have been working your ass off and finally have earned a lot of money and you have a really nice job, a really nice career, things are going for you, good for you. But Danes don't want to know. You're not allowed to actually brag or show off your successes. You're supposed to be very quiet about it and be very, very polite and very, what's the word? Humble. Very, very humble. Where I grew up and where I come from, which is a small town in the northern part of Denmark, Yenedon was really crazy. And if you're just a tiny bit different, if you try to do something different with your life. You were wrong and you were ignored. I feel like it's very important for you guys to know that if you come to Denmark, showing off your money and all your skills and all of your talents and your amazing life, <laughs> it's not really socially acceptable. I feel like that's one of those places where we could learn a lot from Americans because every time I go to America and I try to tell them what I do, which is I'm working with social media and doing that stuff and I can live by doing that, they're always like, oh my God, good for you, you're doing amazing, good job girl, keep going, you, I love you. Whereas as soon as I talk about it in Denmark, people are like, is that even a real job? She's just lying in her bed, drinking some coffee, doing absolutely nothing, filming every once and again, that's not a real job. Socially unacceptable. So Danes could definitely learn something from America and this thing about being happy for others and other people's successes. Happiness breeds happiness. Thing number three, you should know about Denmark. We swear a lot. <laughs> Fuck, shut up. Whenever I go to other countries, I often feel like that I really need to control my language and the way that I talk because I swear a lot. Danes in general, they swear a lot. And especially the word fuck is a very well used word in Denmark. But I think to Danes, it's actually not a swear word. We actually use it not only in bad situations as the one before, but also just when we're like, oh my God, like fuck, 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 fuck. It's just an expression. It's a way that we express ourselves. We are very expressive people. Even saying shit or crap. It's just a way of expressing ourselves. Obviously, we could just stick to the good old ones going like, oh my God, or going like, holy moly, but holy moly, no, F no, fuck no. So if you come to Denmark and you hear a lot of swearing here, it's not because we're mad at each other or angry or anything like that, which is very expressive. Thing number four, you should know about Denmark. We bike everywhere. We are a biking nation. We are a nation of bicycles. You should really think that the Queen song was made for Denmark. 
I wanna ride my bicycle. We just bike everywhere if we can. Our entire infrastructure, especially in the biggest cities, are actually made for people to bike around. Almost all roads and streets, they have small lanes for bicycles. There's probably a bigger chance of you getting hit by a bicycle than a car in Copenhagen. And I might be exaggerating right now, but I do actually think, I know we've got Amsterdam as well, but I actually think Copenhagen is the best city for biking because you can bike the entire city. The city is small enough and, and infrastructurally good enough for you to bike everywhere. And lastly, thing number five, you should know about Denmark. We have a severe drinking culture and actually we hold the number one ranking of underage drinking in Europe. Yeah. We should not be proud of that ranking. When you're 16, you're actually allowed to buy beer and stuff like that. People, they start when they're 12 years old here to drink. So, um, we drink a lot. The drinking culture in Denmark is definitely way out of control, especially when it comes to teenagers. They drink way, way too much. And I think it's because we have this thing called Danish hygge. And um, it's really hard to explain, but it's kind of like a cozy lifestyle where we often drink and eat together. And drinking often means beer because we have Tuba and Kaspa, some really big beer companies in Denmark, which are very internationally known as well, which we are very, very proud of. But that also means that we drink a lot. I would like to say I hardly never drink, so count me out of the drinking culture. I drink soda instead. But guys, that was all for this video. I really hope that you found it funny, interesting, and I don't know, informative. If you don't really know that much about Danes and Denmark, now you probably do know a tiny bit more. But if you want more videos like these where I explain a bit more about Denmark, how it is to live here, some more fun facts about Denmark, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Please remember to subscribe if you have not already and hit the notification button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. But thank you so much for watching and remember I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Mwah.